Here's a quick look into the inner workings of ADCO's continuously variable transmission, more commonly referred to as a CVT. Directly in the middle, you'll notice the planetary gear set. The planets are connected directly to the engine and therefore are always turning when the engine is on. The ring gear surrounding the planets supplies power to the hydraulic pump. The hydraulic pump provides power to the hydraulic motors that engages one of the range gears and delivers tractive power to the rear wheels. The sun gear in the middle of the planetary gear set is connected directly to the collection shaft which then goes straight down to the range gear and to the rear wheels. As soon as the engine is turned on, the planet gears start to turn. Because there is no pressure on the hydraulics, the ring gear is free to rotate. While the equipment is in neutral, the operator can select the desired range to engage either field or transport range. When forward direction is selected, the hydraulic pump will start to swing. This allows it to start pumping fluid to the hydraulic motor. As the hydraulic motor starts to turn, it will start to turn the collection shaft, which turns the range gear and then turns the wheels. The sun gear also starts to turn as resistance starts to increase on the ring gear and decrease on the sun gear. As the operator calls for more ground speed, the hydraulic pump starts to swing further and increases the output to the hydraulic motor. As speed continues to increase, the hydraulic motor starts to swing in towards the neutral position. This increases pressure on the hydraulics, which in turn increases resistance on the ring gear. As the resistance on the ring gear is increased, the resistance on the sun gear is decreased. This causes more power to be transferred directly through the sun gear as the machine speeds up. When the hydraulic motor reaches neutral, it creates enough hydraulic pressure to stop the hydraulic pump and the ring gear. All power will then be transferred directly through the sun gear to the rear wheels. As the machine slows down, the reverse process happens. The hydraulic motor starts to swing back, reducing pressure on the hydraulics and the ring gear. Once the motor has swung out all the way, the hydraulic pump starts to swing towards neutral. This further reduces the resistance on the ring gear until all power is passing through the ring gear when the machine is in neutral. When the machine travels in reverse, the hydraulic pump swings in the opposite direction as when the machine was moving forward. This pumps to the hydraulic motor in a reverse direction, which turns the range gears in reverse and turns the wheels in reverse. While in reverse, the transmission is always 100% hydraulic and the angle of the pump determines the rate of speed. As you saw, there are no clutches and no shifting in this transmission. Everything is automatically controlled by the CVT. Seamless transitions from neutral to top speed and even into reverse is what makes this transmission unique and extremely versatile.